Hey guys, bit of a different video coming here today. This is the LG GQ900. It is the 48 inch 4K, 138 hertz OLED gaming monitor. One large beast. <laughs> anyway, uh, I recently got this on Black Friday for the steal of $699. That's $800 off its $1,400 MSRP. And you know what? When I was researching this, uh, I didn't see a lot of just average everyday gamers making videos about this on YouTube. A lot of reviewers, a couple unboxings. So I said, you know what? When I've had a couple weeks with this thing, I want to make a short video. Uh, run over some stuff now again. 4K, 138 hertz via an on-screen toggle there. Uh, 4K, 120 with the HDMI 2.1 of which it has three. And also a DisplayPort 1.4 uh, to get you that full 138 hertz 4K experience. Uh, it does have 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the front, digital upstream, uh, digital optical audio, uh, two 20 watt speakers. They sound really, really punchy. I'm really surprised and happy with that. And it comes with this absolutely massive uh, LG Ultra Gear remote. Uh, this thing is growing on me. It really, I can sit it on my desk and just reach over and adjust the volume or go into the on screen uh, display without any issues. Now, if you were like me, uh, OLED care is one thing you were really uh, looking after. Now, besides just some quick Windows tips like hide your taskbar, auto hide taskbar, uh, desktop icons, uh, changing your wallpaper. Often those are just a few things you can do out of an abundance of caution. But also here in the on-screen menu, you do have the OLED care option. You go into here and it has screen move, screen saver, image cleaning, and pixel cleaning. Now, uh, every so often when you go to power the monitor down, it will tell you, hey, we're going to be doing a, a, uh, a OLED care cycle. Please do not unplug the power you 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 uh take your break and you come back and all is well so that option is great and just in case you're somebody who maybe you know you don't quite stay on top of it lg has your back with it done automatically and yeah just like i said guys going from that ips display uh which i didn't think it had a lot of ips bleed but coming to these true inky blacks it's just it's just an absolute uh, game changer and I've been very happy with the monitor. I noticed some people say you can wall mount this and Wall mount this and pull your desk back a little bit, but you know what? I Anticipated some growing pains going from the 27 inch to this, but you know what it has been a smooth transition uh, Usually when I pull up a window if like if I'm browsing the web or something like that I'll just put it in a window and pull it off to one side or something uh, so, you know, but yeah, I mean, your mileage may vary. You may say, no, this is too big. You know, I never, uh, could get into that. Well, you may be looking at it on sale this holiday and really considering it. Uh, so, you know what? I thought I'd just make this video, uh, real quick, going over a couple things. I will say when you're taking it out of the box, this thing, three quarters of this thing is razor thin. The bezel is absolutely I mean, it is just so thin. But when you take it out of the box, they have a warning sheet that tells you, you know, do not grab it from the top, do not pinch it from the sides. So, uh, you know, it was a bit tricky getting it out of the box. Again, with just being overly abundance of caution. Another thing to note, it does have, I guess you can call it bias lighting on both sides. And you can turn those off or you can change the color. I ultimately turned them off, but... Again, it would look nice if you wall mounted it with that lighting. So, you know what? Your mileage may vary. But I tell you what, uh, just, I mean, absolutely amazing colors. The responsiveness of this monitor is something else. And, you know, when I'm in the game or so I was playing uh, the new Avatar game, I was just like, wow, you know, the colors just pop. Uh, you know, again, it's, it's not for everybody cup of tea but for those of it is i think you're gonna love it now one thing i want to run over real quick this is a bit of a 
personal preference. This does have a matte coating. Now, that what does that mean? You're not going to get the reflectiveness when you're in your in your uh, game room. You have a light on or something. You're not going to see yourself in the reflection. Uh, but some people really like that glossy look. Uh, so you know what? Your mileage may vary on that. That's going to be a personal preference. So that's something just to keep in mind. Uh, again, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I may make a follow-up. Uh, if anybody has any questions or if anything pops up that I want to go over again. But you know what? I'm absolutely loving it. Now, I'm going to get back to some gaming on this big boy. <laughs> Take care, everyone.